You see, uh, you see Sam Pittman's new statue. I did, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I kind of want one. That's it, it, you want the same one. I, I, I love it. I, I'm gonna tell you this. So my daughter. Hey, hey, hold on. Before you get into this story, let me let me tell everybody that doesn't know what we're talking sure. about. Uh, well, they can just Google it. <laughs> Sam Pittman got a new statue of it. It looks like the slobbering hog from the 1994 uh, basketball team at Arkansas. It is a Razorback, and it is at his home in Hot Springs, it's a water Arkansas. Feature out by his lake. Yes, it is. Okay, and it is beautiful, beautiful. All right, go water ahead pump, with the water, uh, water dribbles out of the mouth. So, uh, <laughs> towards the, the end of college football season last year. My daughter was watching some games with me, and she's finally starting to get it. I, I think she just wants to do this because she likes spending time with me, which makes me feel good. Um, and she was like, how do I pick teams that I like? And I said, well, I said, you'll get made fun of for this. But I said, I think it's fun to have teams that have fun mascots. And I showed her a couple of fun mascots. I showed her a couple of, like, ridiculous mascots. And I was like, see, you don't want to be cheering for this team. And then this guy show up. And you're like, uh, yeah, I'm with him. But I – Really, I'm not proud of that. And so I talked to her about how important I think it is for live mascots. Now, I know the PETA people of the world are going to hate my guts right now. That's okay. Um, we, we probably don't get along very well. But anyway, um, I like live mascots. I showed her pictures of Mike and his beautiful cage and, and, and situation in and, and Baton Rouge. Uh, I, I, I'm not a Texas fan, but I, I love Bebo. My favorite mascot. In the country is Ralphie. I love that big ass buffalo, and uh, and, and and so I, I we talked about that, and she really liked Tusk. Now Tusk, the live version of Tusk is ugly as sin, and I think that's why she liked him. It's one of those situations where you love the ugly dog from the bound. He he's he's ugly as hell, but she liked Tusk a lot, and and I guess her liking him, I I, I like him. You know, I've seen well, yeah. a fun mascot. Nobody else has a Razorback. Nobody else has a big ass hog. So, anyway. So she likes the hogs. <laughs> she, come on now. Come on now. That's oh, we're I wouldn't. I wouldn't make it a studio. joke. I wouldn't make. <laughs> we're in a big ass studio. Somebody make a drop out of that. <laughs> then we had to fight. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. No, I'm just thinking of the fact that you're an LSU fan. And if she's going to be an Arkansas fan, that could get a that could get dicey. <laughs> No, it wouldn't be dicey. It wouldn't be dicey. Listen, there's only like four places in the world where she'd be thrown out of the family if she goes to. And they both know that, by the way. Both oh, yeah. my kids fully understand. I'll, I'll give you a story about hatred in my family. Okay? This is how mature I am. All right? We are in Disney World. We're going through the Laugh Factory, which is a uh, a little little place in Magic Kingdom where they do the, the Monsters Inc. jokes. Yeah. Okay? And, and somebody there in the audience said they're from Alabama. And some white trash lady on the other side of the room is like, we're here, <laughs> And my youngest daughter said, Alabama. And I looked at her, and I gave her this nasty look. And she said, oh, that's the one we hate. And I was like, <laughs> out. Out of, the fa- out of the family. I was like, you are buying dinner yourself tonight? Like, I am done. And she got sad, walking out of that store. She said, oh, that, whatever you would call it. And she held my hand. She said, Daddy. If I punch an Alabama fan in the balls, will that get me back in the family? I said, baby, <laughs> that gets you to the top of the family. You're That's now above mama. That is unbelievable. You're in. You're in, you're in forever. <laughs> Let's find one right now. Let's just slap him right in the face. My God. That's the things you were teaching your daughter. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's right. That's right. That's, and, That's I, right. I, and I, I come over to your house. To teach, I can't I believe it. I think it's important. You better be careful. I, be I careful know. Because she hasn't, she hasn't done it yet, but she owes me one punch of the ball. Uh. So, I'm gonna have to be send, careful every time you, I come over. You send your brother over. You send your brother over first. Kyle, <laughs> go, go look at Chris's computer real quick. He need he needs some help. Yeah, he needs he stuff. needs some help with stuff. <laughs> Why don't you go over there, Kyle? <laughs> I think it's important to teach them about proper hatred because hatred's something we got to deal with. Oh yes. And and if you hate people for the religion or for who they love or how they were born, like that makes you an asshole, right? Like that's like a big asshole. But you can totally hate people for the choices they make. Yeah. Peter people hate me because all I do is eat meat. Okay? <laughs> like, like, I get that. I deserve <laughs> that because that conflicts with their morals, and that's a choice I have made. I deserve that. I earned it. I get, You don't just hate me because because I'm a dude. You don't just hate me because I'm white. You don't just hate me because of you – know, you hate me because of the choice that I made. And I think it's important 
teach kids, it's okay to hate somebody <laughs> for the choice. My, my question on this was which statue would you build in your backyard? But I think we got enough. I think Gus is cooler than Mike. I, I think I, so, I, too. I, 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 to, to be truthful, I really like it. I really do like it. I, I do, too. I think it's a really cool statue. I don't know how I'd make Mike, like, water coming out of him. That that might be weird for a tiger, but it's somehow it's not for a for a big-ass hog. For a hog, I, yeah. I, I guess, and, and I kind of like the idea that I get to say, hey, Come to my house. Look at my big ass hog. Like you know, get a little dick joke thrown in there. <laughs> I like it. You know, Pittman's got to be throwing that one around, right? Oh no, there's there's zero doubt, zero doubt. Unbelievable. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.